Hello and welcome back. Now a couple of weeks ago I recorded a video with these two test instruments in it and today I've received the next one in the series that I was after and here it is. This is the the Peak um, DCA 75 Pro. Now it's a lovely little thing, I've already had a wee play with it and we're going to play with it a little bit more. Um, when you take it and turn it on, at the moment I'm just getting it ready for turn on and I'll put it where it should be. It'll sit there and tell you there's nothing going on um, and it requires a device to be connected. So what I'm going to do is I'll connect a small um, transistor, a 2N2222, and we'll see what that looks like. So bear with me while I struggle with cables. Now the devices have three cords coming out of them, as you can see me playing with them here. And it doesn't really matter which order you put them on, because it's going to work all that out for you. So the whoops, the transistor's connected. Power on. Wait for it to come up. While it's doing that, it's testing, and it's found we've got a transistor there. And it's given us some details. We can scroll through the details and have a brief look at what's available, what it's doing what its characteristics are. Now this device also comes with a USB connection and I'm about to plug that in and switch over to my monitor where I've done a screen capture and we'll see what it looks like there. And it's just simply a case of finding the right cable, plugging it in and switching us over. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, we're plugged in and nothing appears to have changed on the screen. So let's go over to the computer monitor and see what we've got over there. We'll connect a 2N2222 transistor to the device and hit the test button. And there we have it. The colour codes are showing us what connector we are attached to. As you can see, it's an NPN bipolar transistor or BJT bipolar junction transistor. And there's various bits of information there all about that transistor. But what we can also do with this device is draw some graphs of its performance. And it's quite good, it's quite accurate, and it gives you a fairly immediate view of the characteristics of the transistor or device under test. This is a simple NPN transistor used in many, many applications, and you can see by looking at the graphs here, the capabilities, the, uh, if you're into circuit design, it's all well and good, you can have a look. But what you can also do just by um, using this is test a known good one against a suspected faulty one. All right, that's it for this video. As you've probably noticed, I don't make very long videos. But that's the device. It um, wasn't too expensive. It arrived fairly quickly. And yeah, I've been playing with it a wee bit today and I'm quite happy with what I've got. I've tried some other devices in it as well that it says it can do and I'll, I'll put a link to either a screenshot or, or something of um, capabilities of the devices or the devices that it can actually test. Um, I actually tested a three terminal regulator, a 5 volt one, 7805, and it showed me all the, all the things that I would have expected to see with that. So uh, yeah, that's it for now. Thanks very much. This um, is an excerpt from the 
PDF manual that comes with the device. And I'll just scroll down um, to the table of contents. And as promised, there's the list of devices that you can test with this uh, particular tester analyzer. And um, as I said earlier on, I've tested a uh, bipolar junction transistor. And I earlier tested a voltage regulator off camera. Um, I do. Oh, I tested a JFET as well. That's that's right. And it gave me all the results that I was expecting to see. So they were brand new out of box. So I wasn't expecting any failures. But anyway, as I said, I'll show you what they are. There they are. And I hope they. It, well, let's say it again. I hope it will be useful to you sometime if you decide you want to purchase one of these test devices. Well that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and um, if you've enjoyed it please like and subscribe. Thank you.